Look at Borussia Dortmund. We kind of, I know not from the inside, but from the outside, we kind of judge them on how they stack up compared to Bayern Munich. Uh, if they do lose this weekend, let's say it's a heavy loss against Bayern Munich, would Lucien Favre be in any real pressure for his job? I don't think it will go that far. Well, we've seen Lucien Favre throw the towel in before himself when things have been bad uh, at previous clubs. When Borussia Mönchengladbach lost the first five games of the season back in 2015, Lucien Favre stepped down and Gladbach tried all they could to stop him from going. If he was to do something similar in, in Dortmund, albeit I think we're a long way from that right now, then I don't know whether Dortmund would put up the same kind of fight. His contract is up at the end of the season, and I would say that there's very lukewarm interest from, from Dortmund on, on renewing that. If you want to keep your coach, you're going to sign him up for another year. You're not going to let his contract run into that final year of the deal. So I think that Lucien Favre has done an okay to good job with, with Dortmund. We've seen before how with Peter Bosch and with Peter Stürger that th this is not an easy job to, to find the right balance for. And Dortmund are, have consolidated their place as Germany's second power. But to take them onto the next stage, it feels like everything's a little too passive for Dortmund's liking. And even though they've kept four clean sheets uh, in, in their last four games, they've not conceded at the Signal Iduna Park yet this season, the first time they've gone four games at home without conceding in nine years, there's just something it feels like there's lacking in terms of the amount of players that they have with quality going forward and the amount of entertainment that that's providing. Archie, other side of the managerial coin, of course, Hansi Flick. You were listening to his press conference earlier today as well. What are some of the big decisions he faces? Well, for a start, Benjamin Pavard didn't train today and has not traveled to Dortmund, uh, according to Bills over here. So that would, in, that would mean that Bounassar will start at right back. He's done okay so far. I think he's made a good impression in the few games he's played. But the real decision uh, that I think he's got to make is which of his wingers does he leave out? Will it be Serge Gnabry, Leroy Sané or Kingsley Coman? And I would say that given the noises he's made about Leroy Sané, I can see him opting for Kingsley Coman and Serge Gnabry. I think Leroy Sané is still finding his way into this, this buy-in side and still finding his way in pretty well if you saw the goal he scored from distance against uh, against Eintracht Frankfurt the other week. You could hear the Eintracht Frankfurt goalkeeper Kevin Trapp saying he's going onto his left foot. He's going onto his left foot and still he slams it in from 20 yards. But I think that what with the way that Coman's performed in big games recently and also the, 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 the same has to go for Nabry, I think that that will give them the edge in, in, in that respect. Jan, what's your sense? If, uh, if Bayern are able to win on Saturday, are we just headed for another ninth straight Bundesliga crown? Well, everybody will tip that Bayern will win, win, the, uh, win this league as well. But what I think is quite interesting this season is that RB Leipzig, maybe they will be up there some, somewhere. Gladbach could be up there somewhere. And Dortmund, of course, being the main challenger. The, the, the problem in Germany is that the... the the hardest opposition, the Gegner, which I say in, in German, is Bayern himself. I mean, what can be the trouble at Bayern? Could be a coach who's not up for it or doing funny things that the big management and the, the Muppet show around them when they are bad could influence the game. But now with Hansi Flick, you seem that you, you have a personality, you have a former player, you have a good leader. I mean... Everything he, he does, it seems so right. I mean, if he leaves one player out, he will come on. And Archie said, I mean, Sané came on and he thought Robin was back in business. I mean, it's exactly the same goal. So, so I think that the only one who could, could stop Bayern this year as well is Bayern themselves. They played many games this season. It's intense. They have to find the right balance, how they use their player. Could the Alaba story with, with him not signing the contract be a, be a big problem? I think that somehow they will find a solution there. You saw Boateng being out of the, been out of favor, and then he's playing well, so you probably sign him as well. So, so Bayern look good at the moment, and and I think that what the other clubs got to learn from Bayern, because the other clubs can't hope that Bayern get get worse. They have to improve themselves, because I think at the moment, and I've followed Bayern for many many years, and I think now they're working very good on the field and outside the field. And they found somehow a balance there as well. So 
But let's just hope that Dortmund tomorrow, I mean, remember, they lost against Hoffenheim 4-1. I mean, so there is still a hope that the best team in the world can lose a football game. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.